We're going to just say that this bucket here is our spirit. Not a very good analogy, I'm sure, but anyway, you know. You have a spirit, and that's deep in you. You are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. So this is our spirit. Now, when we're born again, Jesus comes to live in our spirit. So now he's in there, okay? And with him, because everything that we need is in him, you in agreement with that? Everything we need is in him. So love, peace, hope, joy, self-control, all of these things go in us too. But just so we understand this, they go in as seeds. <laughs> all right? So we have, when Jesus comes to live in us, a seed of everything that God is, is planted on the inside of us. So we water the seed with what? The water of the Word. <laughs> Do you ever wonder why the Word of God is called the water of the Word? Because it not only washes us, but it waters the seeds. In us. So you spend time in the Word, and you get the sunshine by spending time with God. Come on, it's not rocket science. And then these little seeds grow, and so then this is like my life. I'm the tree of righteousness, see? That's what we're supposed to be. And then as we get rooted and grounded in Christ, see, down there, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Down in your spirit, stuff's going on. You're getting, you're getting more and more. Whoops, lost my fruit. <laughs> well, it probably wouldn't be the first time today. I had to, I had to hang on to my fruit when I had to land a McAllister, and they told me that I might be sitting there for five hours. I am like, no, we're praying right now. We are not sitting here five hours. So, <laughs> we come up with all kinds of crazy stuff. So you see what happens as you stay in Christ, the more and more that you get Convinced is not a bad word to use. The more you get convinced that God loves you, that you are the righteousness of God in Christ, that you are anointed, that you do have self-control. Don't ever say, well, I just don't have any self-control. That, that is just not true. You have a seed of self-control in you. Maybe you haven't been watering it, and maybe you haven't been growing in it, but there's a seed in you, and... God's going to help us, but that doesn't mean that he's going to do everything for us while we do absolutely nothing. But if we stay in Christ, we stay in the Word, we continue in fellowship with him, then all of a sudden what's going to happen is you're going to start seeing fruit pop out on your cute little branches. And not only that, not only will you see it, but everybody else is going to see it. See, I, I love it. I would like for people... I love it when people see me that knew me when I was 20-something, and they just think, I just couldn't believe that it was you when I saw you on TV. <laughs> see? Don't you want people to just be amazed at what God has done in your life? 